All right, go ahead. Mic check. One, two. What is this? No, sign off your point. Oh, um, well, I just I walked in, overheard uh, this podcast or whatever going on, and I feel like black the topics on black women and the the difficulties that they have, even though they're highly educated. Um, well, California, Texas, New England, New York, and I'm assuming Florida are probably the safe bet states for these women to capitalize off of. One, these these play, one New England's a Commonwealth state, so if you have a child, if you have a child, women are, are very protected in New England. It's a Commonwealth state, so there's all types of resources. For women, I'm not very familiar with California. But um, I'm pretty sure California is one of the richest. If California is separated from the United States, it will probably still be the third, the third richest country in the world. Um, yeah, that's my point. What else do I need to say? Can you edit that? Yeah. The bottom line is bitches are not realistic. And not being realistic is what's biting them in the ass. I don't care what the numbers say. If they're getting evicted, they're getting evicted because they're doing dumb shit and they're living without their means. Now, the video was, it gave it gave quotes that it said, I think it said 6%, 6%, then it was 3%, and then it was 2%. 6% of black women are, are the evicted. 3% was Spanish women. 2% was white women. Everybody knows... Is it a real race thing with white women kicked out? I feel like yeah, you can you can make it that, but let's just let's just stick let's just stick with the the actual point of my argument. My argument is if people can't live within their means, you're gonna have to move, move out of those areas and live within your means. Now, there's plenty of government programs that would allow you to have a better quality of life. But if you're living in those high, those high, those high areas, as in uh, California, as in uh, New York, uh, even Massachusetts, you can say Massachusetts, you can say you can say Florida, as in Florida, you can say certain parts of Florida. You can, say, you, you can say that. But the the key problem is people are living out their uh, out of their means. Like they, people spend a lot of money stunning on the gram and everything like that. But if you can't afford to pay your rent and you have outfits that cost two hundred three hundred dollars clearly you have a problem now I may be too harsh on people my my brother over here is saying well he's giving them excuses let's let, let me let's go deeper into his thoughts I'm not giving any excuses I walked in in the middle of the podcast honestly I need to listen more to it but I feel like I un- I can I understand like my sister I give you my sister for example she probably she probably sleeps in her house in, in a seven day week twenty four hours that means she's barely home with her kid so she owns her own house she bought her own house herself she pays a mortgage herself but if you're talking about that type of sacrifice not all not all black women want to make that sacrifice they actually want to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Hold on, let me jump into that. My that's sister because, works over a hundred dollars a week. That's because women are broke bitches, and she's our sister. If you want to use her as an example, she's paid for everything. No one's given her any handouts. No handouts. No handouts. She's doing what a typical, what it would, what a typical man would do if he was the head of his household. Work a hundred plus hours, damn near kill himself to make sure there's food on there's food on the table and her kids can have a, a life. Now, it's gonna make me very cynical to say this. Why does she have to take all those responsibilities? She chose a less valuable person to if she money. had to if she money. had to do all these extra things. Because from my knowledge, the person she had a child, the two people she had a children with. None of them ain't shit. We're low, we're low value men. None of them want shit. They weren't overachievers. But our sister, our sister is really an overachiever though. Yo, they weren't shit. And it's crazy because she's only fucked with her kind of people. 
If she probably would have walked out a little bit, Scott's could have been the limit. No, but she's loyal. She's loyal. She's loyal to the people. She's loyal. I, I'm not saying her to divest. I'm not divest is the term. If you didn't know what that was, when people date outside of uh, their race, I'm not saying her to do all that. But I'm just saying like she stuck within her community, and the people in her community that were around her, they weren't producing like that. Now her relationship, her current relationship with the person, her her baby's father, it is what it is. Like. Do you see white picket fence? Do you see, like, all that shit she's paid for? You can't come, at the end of the day, if the dynamic is a woman who's who's working these level of hours like that, at the end of the day, she's not going to find the type of ha- type of ha- happiness that most women would find if the man was taking care of her. No, well, she's happy. No, she's happy because she paid for everything. Re- realistically, you think she's happy and... The her baby's father, yeah. like that's when she complains, when she complain, but when she complains about like, oh, I have to pay this amount of money for my son's school because clearly the money's not gonna come out from the father. This is this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Now back to the eviction thing was the main argument. People need to live within their means. Like if if you need to go back and live with your family for a bit, then do that. If you need to sleep on someone's couch for like two hundred bucks, five hundred bucks, two to five hundred bucks for you to stack your bread, then do that. Like, what are we saying here? It's better. Is it better for these women, quote unquote, to go get the go live this lavish lifestyle, go wear these, go wear these garments of these names that niggas don't really give a fuck about? Like, no one gives a fuck. Realistically, no one gives a fuck about what bitches are really wearing. Like the name brands, none. Bitches who so. bitches can be literally making their own clothes, and the average guy wouldn't even know what the fuck she's wearing. Exactly. All that extra shit that bitches do—that is only so for women. Up, so that's, only, up, that's only that's for the women. That's only because men don't even look into that shit. Like no one cares that you spent four hundred dollars. To do your hair, no one cares about that. Realistically, you put your shit in you put your shit in a ponytail, you'll still get looks. So what are we saying now? What you wanna any any thoughts on your side? No, I like what you said. No, 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 no. But that's what I'm saying. No, but some well, some women are just high maintenance. Like they, if they don't get dolled up, they won't look good. They won't look presentable. Like some of them are like a five. When they get dolled up, they feel like they're an eight. That's cool. Getting dolled up, that's cool. But if you're always, if you, if you if you ever get to that point that you're like, huh, there's an event happening and I want to go, I need to spend money on it. But to get, quote unquote, dolled up, I have to risk not paying one of my major bills. That's a problem. Also, back to the, since we're talking about this eviction shit, let's talk about women with children. Because I, I, before I ever started recording, I was just like, Women choose if they if they want to be parents. They choose that. Men don't have say so's in that. So if we're talking about single women having children, you're single because you actively made a choice to be single. Because you know, I just say the type of person you're mating with. But you really know the type of person you're fucking with. The type of man you're mating with, right? Why are they using? Why did they say man? Why do I need to talk all professional for? Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Let's just be real. Bitches know who they fuck with. They know who they lay their head with. The level of delusion is just that, yo, I'm gonna... This is why Nick Cannon, Future, stay having baby mamas. And everybody look at them crazy. I'm like, why are you looking at them crazy when it's one man sleeping with all these women? All these women know that he has like eight kids, nine kids, ten kids. They all know that. But the women want to be like, oh... Future and them, the women are choosing to have the kids. With that choice, they're like, "Whoa, I get a, uh, I get child support for eighteen years. I don't have to work." That's that is the most likely situation because none of these women can be like, at least not the first one, maybe not the second one, the third one. But when you start hearing these stories of this nigga just having all these baby dads, like NBA young boy, all these bitches have multiple kids. I think NBA, NBA young boy has multiple kids. Uh, I might be talking out of turn right there, but 
He does? He with Yeah, but they have multiple children? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I like I'm saying Dog, it's just letting like why are we why are people judging the rappers when you should judge the women around the rappers? The women around the athletes and everything like that. They are like the scourge of society. Let's just be honest. The scourge. NBA weekend, bitches will fly out and try to get try to get pregnant by uh, uh, an NBA player. But mathematically, that makes sense. It makes sense when you have low low morals. That's why it makes sense. It, it makes sense when you're a slut and have low morals and don't plan on actually wanting to work or wanting to provide for anything. That's why that's why it makes sense. Everyone else who's doing their due diligence, vetting the men, that they're just nutting in them. Those people get my respect. If the if the man you're having a child with an ancient man, why are you providing him a child? Because you know the running reasons you would do that? Because you want to check. And when you put people on child support, the government gets a little kickback. They get they get a little taste, a little taste. Keep ha- keep ha- these minorities keep having these fucking ancient kids with the ancient fathers, and then the crime rate goes up because niggas ain't checking their children. Like you can't raise yourself. Why are you trying to raise a child? They can just go work at a daycare for a bit. Like there's no need for this. You people are sick. You people. <laughs> Yo, right? If you work at a daycare, you'll never have kids. You people are sick. Yo, I don't even know how I feel about this abortion law. How do you feel about the abortion law? What? The whole little, like, they're forcing bitches to have babies. <laughs> my choice. My body, my choice? Yeah. Yo. Wor- a word versus Wade? Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade. But we're talking about specifically the... Bro, we is a bunch of laws in that, but we're talking about the like that. There's gonna, so gonna be so many single wi- wi- single women or single mothers moving into Massachusetts because we're saying it was fake. Yo, we don't have the. We just came out of the. We just came out of a fucking uh, recession. The pandemic. Like, we don't got time for these bitches of losing morals to come over here. Dog, things getting nutted and like, yo, they can Plan B is yo. Plan B is verily available. Just take this shit. Just take it, dog. Like, you people make me sick. Like, I don't understand why we even have these type of problems. Can you, can you explain to me why you have these problems? Um, you, you like, know. actively being, actually choosing to be a single parent, you're a horrible human being. Um, now, when I say that, I don't mean people like, it, it the relationship to, didn't work out, the nigga was beating you it, in the it, head. It goes back to feminism. He was giving you fucking a two-piece and a biscuit if you didn't clean the dishes. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about regular shit, regular speculative shit. Like, it just didn't work out. Like, yo, this nigga was actively not doing what he was supposed to do. This is the problem for our society. We need to be harsher on women in the fact that, yo, if you are okay with having this children, if your child acts up, you should be judged slightly. <laughs> you should be judged. Like, something has to happen. Like, like what is it? Like, what do we need to do? Like, something has to happen. Like, we can't be allowing people to be out here willing to. And this goes for all races. All races. Because mm-hmm. we already know that society don't care about the, the the white niggas, those trailer park kids. Mm-hmm. The niggas will be on those fucking uh, coke, uh, meth and shit. Like, those kids, they don't care about them. They do. They just don't care about them. It's not from California, Florida, New England. What am I trying to tell you? Mississippi, well, this certain states, I went to Florida, Michigan. The water's still bad. This certain states, they don't, their GDP, they don't make, they, they don't make any money for the country. So the country don't give a fuck about them. They don't care about the entire state. Yeah. Like America, when you break down America, America's not only, America is like six to seven states that are, that are, that are carrying the weight for the rest of these bums. Like, other states don't have industries like that. California got the mu- music, tech industry. New York got the music. Like, and it goes back to like, if you live in certain states, you should, like when the president talks and makes an announcement, if you live in certain states, 
Just completely ignore him and just focus on your governor and the statements your governor and your state makes. Like, honestly, this pandemic made this pandemic in like 15 to 20 other states. A lot of people suffered. People in New York didn't suffer that much because when they when they applied for the uh, pandemic protection loan, a lot of them got it. Only certain states got it. Not every state got it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, because their state don't make enough money for them to even be getting these incentives. Of course, New York made it because New York, <laughs> New York spent a lot of money. They, New York was when New York was talking about when that nigga who's uh, was touching that girl, uh, touching uh, the, the governor, governor of, uh, of New York, whatever yeah. his name is. Uh, they generate. They generate a lot of he, money. He's like, yo, he's like, yo, Florida. You don't put enough money in. Don't. Yeah, they don't. Don't. They don't. <laughs> don't, don't talk to real. us. Like, I in Florida. Don't talk to us. You, you don't they put enough money. money. So, because obviously, the state that generates money is gonna have way more favoritism towards the go- the government. That have way more favoritism towards it. Like nobody cared what Oklahoma was going through during the pandemic. Nobody even knows people. People are probably killing themselves in Oklahoma right now. We don't. Most of the people who died in the pandemic were on those on those low end states. Yeah, anyway. yeah trailer park people, like, you know Anything else to add about this? Uh, the the brat. Uh, we can start. We can, we, after this, we, we just keep going. Keep going. Let's not forget about the brat for welfare scandal. Mississippi, the, the state that he's from. Go ahead, introduce that. Uh, the governor was in on it. And the governor gave him a million dollars and paid him for uh, guest speaking opportunities that he didn't show up to, and he still collected the cash. It's all over ESPN. I'll do more. I'll do more research on it. Oh, matter of fact, I do have it. Oh shit. Okay, the Brett Favre welfare scheme. Four points that we know about Brett Favre before he got into the Hall of Fame. He abused painkillers. That's not that big of a deal. Because he never missed a game. He was outspoken. One thing I didn't like, he was outspoken when it came to kneeling during the national anthem. He called it unpatriotic. But stealing from your own state for low-income people, that's not unpatriotic. He, I don't know if I should even say this. He was sending dick pics to a female Jets employee. He easily went into the Hall of Fame, which is very questionable. The bottom line is, what I'm really interested in the is the nigga who's a racist who sold that basketball team. Oh, the Suns? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm really interested in. They got, no, they made no, the other guy, you know, but they oh, made the, it. Wait, that guy's been doing shit for years, but they made the other guy sell his team a couple years ago. Yeah, but because they got him on videotape telling, fuck Magic Johnson. Like, that's that, that, That's totally different. No, no, no. I feel that's a lot easier. That, hold on. You think it's a lot worse? This nigga was he called me, he called people niggas multiple times. That guy, the guy who did it way back when, he said over a phone call. She she, she recorded she without, 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 but, without his without yeah, his But they verified that this nigga called people niggers multiple times to their face. This is third hand conversation. Like he didn't say that directly to Matthew Johnson. And being realistic. You want your girl fucking for a nigga who had AIDS? That was his side. Girl. That was his side. Your side piece. You want your side piece? Yo, you want you want your side piece? You fucking for a nigga who got AIDS? I'm a millionaire. Let's just be. Let's just say. I'm, I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. Let's just be real. No. You want your side piece? You fucking for a nigga who got AIDS? I. That was a setup though. She she set him but up. But I. But what's what I'm saying? But he sold. He sold a team for two billion dollars. So he actually came up. Done. You think selling the team? And that's part of the Me Too movement. He lost team, because of the Me Too no, movement. No, no. Your team can lose and still make money. <laughs> hey, this team that stay losing, you're in it, dog. You're in the system. They just won the first yeah, championship listen, when he sold no, no, no. it. Yeah, you're walking away. Listen, the Golden State Warriors. Listen, listen to that. Listen to the facts. Yeah. You're in a system that's built for you to win. Jersey sales, commercials, stadiums. Anytime the Nuggets use the stadium. You're like, in a system. In the media contract they have, the billion dollar media like, contract they have in China. A, you're in a system. Like, you're not losing on that. No, there's the, sm- the, the smaller, the smaller teams that, that, that barely make, that barely make it, like Milwaukee, the smaller teams that don't make that much money. California can have five, California can have five basketball teams they wanted to. That's how, that's how wealthy the state but is. The Lakers. 
No, no, we don't even care. There's three. There's three NBA teams in, in, in California. But the only problem we need to say, the Lakers is the hottest shit. Okay. But Golden State is the, the hottest shit. He the sold team, Golden. He's but, the fucking he sold. But, but listen to what I'm saying. Like, we're not talking like. No, Golden State wasn't the hottest shit before they won the first chip. No. After they won the first chip, it was really getting the hottest shit. The like, hottest, the last 10 years. Say, but that's when, the team, that's when the team came together. But it's very, like, how do you think fucking hockey don't be making the money? Oh, hockey. That, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you're looking at it. A billionaire keeps hockey going. No, no, no. no. Uh, but NBA, they make money. Like, the whole game is literally money. ad. Yeah. It's an all. ad. Oh, what the what? What's this nigga wearing? What sneakers is this nigga wearing? What's this nigga wearing? Nigga, that's all recorded in the fucking... I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave that in there. We're leaving it raw. We're leaving it raw. You fucking dirtbag. If you didn't hear that, I'm going to have to say it again. This nigga literally just said, I'm about to take his shit while in the podcast. I'm going to leave this audio in here to just, just to let the niggas know how filthy this scumbag is. And this nigga's the one who's like blue pill and shit. Like, ah! Ah! But these are the facts. But back to that specific issue. Now, I feel, this is, this is feelings, the new guy, the new guy who made the racist comments, I don't even know these people's names, I just only care about the effect. It's really more, it's really, it's a lot worse than the old guy because he said it during a phone call directly to the girl. The NBA proven, they have actual evidence that this guy said it to various peoples during his whole time voting it. The NBA is already is already a bought place. Like everybody already knows the NBA. The games are rigged anyway. Like if you don't feel like the games are rigged, the games are rigged anyway. Like let's, let's just all be honest right now. Sports is rigged, exactly. The Sports games are rigged because I watched was it twenty uh what's what's that show on ESPN? I don't remember what it's called, what the what the shit's called. There was a ref talking about they were just fouling Allen Iverson, knowing that he was, knowing he did the same thing in every game, and they never called the foul on him. The game is rigged, though. I got to pull it up. I got to pull up the shit. But the game is rigged, and everybody knows it's rigged. Like, why niggas even betting on the game? Like, this shit is crazy. This shit is absolute crazy. Then... Uh, what's the guy who owns the the guy who owns the commissioner of the of the sports? Like that nigga don't got no power, dog. People sat him down and was like, "Yo, you about to put this nigga on the bench for a year or whatnot, and he's about to come back, dog." Putting him on pause, like, "Oh, a milli? They make billions of dollars, dog." Tell that nigga he has to own fund specifically himself to fund a WNBA league for multiple years. This nigga will probably kill himself. Because he already knows, dog. And so I'm on a tangent. Let's go back to Brittany Grinder. Uh, the chick was locked up in Russia. Yo, I said concert. I I thought about this long and hard. And I was just like, as an American, we should definitely bring her back. People were complaining about her taking a knee and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go past all that because none of that concerns me. What concerns me is why hasn't Biden... Put his dick on the table and let niggas know this is America, hug. This is not some third world country telling you to do shit. This is America. And then they were trying to talk about trades. And the trades that they wanted was some, like, super warlord for a WNBA player. Yo, she might have to eat this eat this time. That shit sounded crazy. And then they were trying to, um, what's his name? Yo, what's that nigga with the colorful hair? Who's on the Bulls? This nigga's not listening. What the fuck is his name? The guy was always going over to fucking Korean shit. He was going to go talk to Putin and shit. I'm like, nigga, let him go talk to Putin. Because whatever sleepy Joe... Oh, my God. Yo, the bottom line is our last four presidents ain't been shit niggas, dog. All of them. They ain't been shit. That's what I feel. When it came time to do shit, they haven't done it. I said four. Oops. Our last three presidents. Ain't been shit. Now, if you're one of those people who believes in, like, nine levels inside job, this is not a conversation for you right now. We're in the impression that the niggas who did 9-11 got the goods. And we went in there, freeing them from themselves. Whatever. Boots to asses, dog. 
We came in praying. <laughs> My fault. We weren't praying nothing. We were spraying. And that's the bottom line, dog. Like, you got one of ours. It is what it is. That was a crazy... Like, I felt like for him to even think about releasing her... Or no, no, I should say think about releasing her. For who would to even say these words that, yo, we want a war criminal to be released over a WNBA player? That nigga really was just like, yo, you niggas are pussies that I can literally ask for whatever the fuck I want. And you would probably give it to me. We got Joe fucking sleeping, falling over places. Camilla ain't doing shit. What is she doing right now? What is Camilla doing right now? Get back to work. Like, what are we doing right now? All this flying immigrants to different locations. Yo, I've been talking about shutting off our borders for a little bit and letting that shit Get our shit back together. Like, we need to get our shit back together. I keep seeing a lot of niggas putting up work work signs. Hold on. I was clearly on a whole little tangent, and my brother want to come back into the room. Yes, she's on here. She's in on there for a wee pen. But it, that's, they take that serious. She's trying to sneak it in. Uh, they can say that she forgot it. It was, it was so low, they said she forgot it. But here's the thing. Why do people keep leaving the country and then be acting a fool? They, they did let off some white lady for the same thing. She had way more drugs. They let her go, come back it? home. Russia? Yeah, some white lady. Yeah. She had way more. She she had a selling amount. They let her come home. It's just that Brittany uh, Grinder Grinder is a bigger is a bigger is a bigger is a bigger name. Like no one cares about some trailer park bitch selling selling drugs. They probably just beat her. This probably just like last year a couple times. Like yo, get the fuck out of here. Probably cost like a thousand dollars. A round trip to me. She can't be that much of a trailer park. God, she's a cokehead. That's all I know. And that, what does that mean in white America? That's just regular shit. That's regular, exactly. Yo, you're not considered, you're not considered a deplorable, addict. you're not considered <laughs> deplorable if you're on drugs and you're white. It's a, it's a, what's it called? What's the, what's the new term sickness, using? sickness. No, no, it's not sickness. It's a, a waiver reading. We were on the war of drugs and now we're on something new. What's, what's, what's it called? Most of notice? Yeah, she's supposed to notice. What the fuck? War on... Fuck is it on? No, not war on drugs. Uh, so not name for drugs. Opioid. Opioid epidemic. Oh, epi- opioid epidemic. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're on. Cold that's because, opioid, that's because a lot of white people has been dying. Yeah. Like that's all. That, that's all that is. Yep. Opioid epidemic. Yep. Like that's that's all that is, man. It's just like yo, no one gives no one gave a fuck when the FBI dropped crack in the neighborhoods. Like it's just all documented. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. FBI, CIA, they're all they're all by the same place. So we we'll just say Americans did it. No, FBI is more federal. CIA has has a budget of their own. That they do they can do outside shit. FBI can't just do shit. It's federally operated. The gov the government really runs the FBI. CIA is like a secret organization within the government. You can say that, but uh, didn't FBI kill Bin Laden? No, Mother of the King. That's CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, man. Anything you want to talk about? I gotta think more. And we're gonna leave you with that. I didn't even have an intro for this, so I'll just record the intro later. Uh, yeah, have a good one.